and looking at it like maybe from Bustamante's point of view, technically we're infringing on your constitutional rights completely. But we're not doing anything with it. Mm-hmm. We're only right, going after the that's goddamn that's terrorists. That's what yeah. he said. <laughs> now watch this drive. Now watch this <laughs> drive. Yeah. <laughs> That's one. Can we put that clip in the oh, corner? Can you please let's that's play that's that's that real awesome. quick? Oh Find the George God. W. Bush interview about about uh, about terrorism uh, on the golf course. That I, is the best. I generally that is the best thing blame ever. that administration on Dick Cheney. However, yeah. George Bush did hire him. I will forever say though, George Bush, dark as this is, was funny as. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know that he tried to be. But no, he, he was humorous, yeah. It's funny. Just looking at him and listening to him talk, how watching you, him. His facial expression, the way he moved yeah. his mouth. And his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> we, will, we will find you. We will, we will kill you. If you're not with us, you're with the terrorists. <laughs> the best is Now the watch pic- this drive. <laughs> the, yeah. the best is the mission accomplished picture behind him <laughs> like two weeks oh, yeah. into the war. We're done, fellas. <laughs> 20 years later. <laughs> Oh my God! Dude. Oh, what an administration! Wait till you watch that fucking nine eleven documentary I sent you, dude. Yeah, yeah. You keep telling me I gotta watch that. <coughs> yeah, this is it. This is it. Yes. Press play. <coughs> you might have to fast forward a little bit. Absolutely fantastic. You gotta press play. There you go. If you're harboring terrorists, <laughs> there you go. Skip. You're either with us or against us. Uh. Yeah. How long is this? Oh, oh, it's a minute. Where is this at? Where? I don't know. Gotta That's a good question. Somewhere. No, it's not in Florida. Oh, it's already funny. Is that Delaware. his dad? At Delaware, the place you golfed at. Delaware? Not him. Here it is. <laughs> Look at the hands. Are there cue cards up back there? I think there are. Well, there's just a random press conference on the ninth hole. Watch this. I've seen it. <laughs> He's ad living. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank you. Now watch this drive. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Oh. I gotta see the drive now. Oh, that is, yeah, they, there's like a video cut where they cut right he to the drive. He fucking pipes this thing right down the fair. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Look at a finish. Oh, he's reaching for the maybe mulligan. He's reloading. <laughs> he's reloading. <laughs> look at, look at, sitting back, not giving a fuck in the world. <laughs> Just imagine. Oh. That's a nice fucking golf course. Look at that. Fuck yeah. Yeah, where is that? Does it say in the description? I wonder what golf course that was. It's in that. Iraq. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, golf course in Iraq. No, it's not going to I don't know where that was, but still, like, that's... <sighs> That's typical Bush, man. I don't know. He's Fucking he was legend. he was a sound bite everywhere. He's in he, what, what's he in a uh, he's in a J Cole song too. Is he at the drop? Which song is that? Where he's like, I'll tell you what, fool me once, oh, shame yeah, on yeah, me. Fool me twice, <laughs> shame on you. Doom. He does have some of the best fucking quotes yeah, of all time. Just, what was uh, and then the Kanye West while he was in office. George Bush yeah. hates black oh, people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sta- he's people. just like Kanye staring yeah. at the screen. Uh, and Mike, Mike Myers, Myers is like, oh, like, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> uh, Operation Kino. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Wasn't that during like SNL or something? I don't know. It was some live feed or something. It was like a live, it was could, like a live feed or something. Could you imagine Bush in the social media era? I mean, we saw it with Trump. And what that was. I mean, we're seeing it with Biden again. Mm-hmm. But, like, imagine that guy with that situation. Yeah, and, oh, different. my God. Because it was, the stakes were so insane when that all happened. Oh, everything. yeah. Memes would have been awesome. Yeah. I wish I was, like, paying attention to shit back then. Yeah. You Me know? Too. I was really young. But I wonder what it was like. Like, do you think there was a lot of a lot of people aware of all the bullshit going on? Like, nowadays, when you see shit happen, like this Russia-Ukraine thing going on. There's so many different views. There's not one narrative. There's fucking like 14 narratives about this whole this whole conflict going on. I wonder if it was like that 
in the pre-social media days, like during the during 9-11 and the war on terror? Like, was there people actively thinking like, wow, this could have been an inside job? You know, this could be sure. all a fucking, uh, you know. There were a few people. Yeah, another sure. Pearl Harbor. wasn't out there for everybody to see it. There were some. Yeah, because people, you can't, you can't share ideas. Pe- ideas can't go as viral as they no, do now. No, it th- I mean, it didn't. The internet was www.whatevertheFuck.com right. yeah. at right. the time. You right. know, like there was, it was like the dial-up speed. So it wasn't like that. But yeah, I, mean, I know there were some people right away. I mean, just statistically, there had to be. It's just, I can't imagine dealing with that in the social media era. And like, you talk about what the narratives were compared to what we're seeing outside right now with Russia, Ukraine. I mean look at how many senators and congressmen supported the war, not the war in Afghanistan, which even today I could say like, yeah, you had to go, the Taliban was harboring these guys. Like you had to go over there. The war in Iraq though, look at all the people who voted for that. This was a bipartisan thing. Right. I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was skewed. Right. right? And there may be some like typical stereotypical politicians who are still in office today who suck, but there were a few even among the ones who suck, who actually did vote against that. And I will give them credit for that. Maybe, maybe they did it for the wrong reasons, but they right. did. They voted against it, yeah. Because, like, you know, David Satter and I were talking about this and the whole WMD thing, and he's like, well, you know, the Israeli and, and Russian intelligence both thought there were WMD there, too. And I'm like, yeah, but hindsight's twenty twenty, but our intelligence, like, we knew it was bullshit. We knew it was like a no percent chance. They talked about Iraq like the night of nine eleven. They're like, well, Iraq definitely had something to do with this. Right. And the thing is, like, <clears throat> Trump said more stupid shit than you could ever count on the campaign trail in 2015, 2016. There were a couple things he said that were kind of inarguable, though. And, one, and it was funny, too, because he's just a comedic kind of guy, but like... He said, uh, I remember this line, he would repeat this over and over, like all his other lines, but he would say, Saddam Hussein, bad guy, bad guy, killed terrorists. Bad guy, killed terrorists. You know, we shouldn't have done that. And it is true, Saddam was an awful human being. He was a genocidal maniac, right? And this is the horrible, we can relate this to what's going on right now too, by the way, but like, this is the horrible reality. Unfortunately, there are some really bad people in the world. And you can't, technically police all of them at all times right like what happens within someone's borders sometimes like the will of the people just like communism eventually fell like david was saying it was like 15 percent of the soviet union society that was responsible for that happening that's all it took sometimes the will of the people even in a small percentage Hmm. for good has to rise up to stop like the absolute epitome of evil whatever that evil is right and like with saddam he wasn't friends with al-qaeda in fact, he didn't like them. Right. He killed them. Right. Right. So it had nothing to do with 9 11. It was a money thing, for sure. I mean, everything's money, let's be mm. honest. Right. But, you know, it was, it, you talk about like the Dwight Eisenhower speech on the military industrial complex. I mean, there you mm. go. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. And like, I mean, did you see the movie Vice? Adam McKay no. did it? No few years ago no i heard now, about it yeah now obviously anytime someone really biased does something people discredit him whatever right so i guess adam mckay is like very 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 liberal or whatever but like he did a movie on dick cheney you know some of it probably took a little comedic effect because it, it was supposed to be kind of funny like dark comedy but very accurate man really yeah like very very what old. does he talk about he just walks you through his life and like how it all happened and again takes mm. some comedic stretches but this guy was just i mean he was in control in mm-hmm. that white house i don't know what kind of pictures he had of george w bush <laughs> he had some.